Welcome back. You're still watching Technoholic, and if in the first segment we talked about uh, the devices themselves, the gadgets, the hardware, the cameras themselves, well, what about the pictures? Sure, you can you know get them onto your PC or your Mac, upload them to Facebook, or burn them on CDs and distribute them. But what if you want good old-fashioned printouts? Now, of course, one option is to buy a printer for yourself and waste a lot of money on the ink, taking out printout after printout. But well. I would much rather recommend uh, going to a photo sharing service that also provides printouts well, for a cost but they've got the technology at hand to do a much better job than what you would do with trial and error on your own printer and uh, in the long run it does work out less expensive because printer cartridges really really cost a lot that's the strategy these days the printer manufacturers are trying to give us really cheap printers and making the money on the expensive cartridges so which photo sharing service then to go for there are quite a few of them Radhika Sharma decided to do a fairly intensive complete review of three of India's top photo uh, service sites and this is what she came up with no matter how many photo sharing sites there are out there on the internet like Flickr, Picasa and Facebook, there is nothing like looking at a photograph in your good old hand. So what do you do? Take your photographs, go to the nearest printing lab and get them printed. But that could very well be obsolete as there are a lot of options of printing your photographs online. Today we are going to check three of them out and all of them are pretty good, we guarantee. Let's go check them out. The three sites in focus today are Zoomin, PicSquare and Snapfish. Excuse the choice of our pictures but come on. Who doesn't love dog? Let's get to uploading with Zoomin first. Log on to zoomin.com, register yourself and click on the add photos link. The upload interface is pretty simple to use and takes no time at all. Click on the cart icon on the top and choose the number of prints you want, the size and the finish. Zoomin also gives you the option of selecting your pictures from Flickr or Picasa directly. Let's move on to pick square. As soon as you log into PicSquare.com and get to the uploading box, surprise, surprise, PicSquare also gives you the option of importing photos directly from Facebook. We did exactly that and chose our prints. Onward to Snapfish. One of the most popular photo printing sites out there, Snapfish.com has a somewhat complicated interface for uploading. While Snapfish has a mobile app to upload photos directly from your phone, no apps for Picasa, Flickr, Facebook, nothing. Alright, so PicSquare.com definitely wins around for the best interface. Ordered my prints, two prints each from all the three sites. All of them promised delivery within four to five days, so all I have to do is just wait for them to get here. See you on the other side of the fade out. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no points for guessing that Zoomin definitely wins the delivery round. It came here in a day and a half. Well, how much time do you think the others are going to take? I say, I give it at least about 3 or 4 days. Got anything for me today? Alright. Alright, so PicSquare and Snapfish are finally here. Three or four days late, but I'm guessing better late than never, right? So no points for guessing that Zoomin has won the delivery round. But now, let's get to the good stuff. Let's check out picture quality. So we've got all our pictures, Zoomin, PicSquare and Snapfish. And I must remind you, all these pictures are taken with a DSLR camera, so picture quality should not matter at all. So let's get to the printing. Zoomin actually has really, really good prints. The picture quality is great, the skin tones have come perfect, the colors are good and it's a very clear print. Moving on to PicSquare, this is where the bad news starts. It's just so pixelated. Why? It actually looks like a photograph that I've taken from a mobile phone camera. Moving on to Snapfish. Snapfish actually just has a satisfactory print. Not good, not great. The colors are good. The print is satisfactory. Little pixelated but on a closer look. So all in all, I'm going to say that if you want really good picture quality, then you should definitely go in for zoom in. Pick square does not feature in this round at all. But that is not the only criteria we're looking at while we're buying photographs, right? Money matters the most. So let's talk money, honey. We uploaded five photographs to each site and ordered two prints each which brings our total to 10. As far as pricing goes, 
2 minutes price at 4 rupees per photograph plus delivery charges which brings our total to 71. Big square is priced at 2.95 which brings our total to rupees 59 and Snapfish was a complete win. It did charges for the first entrance at all and just delivery charges which brought our total to rupees 29. So definitely the pricing round goes to Snapfish. Let's take a look at the final scores. Zoom in 2, Thick Square 1 and Snapfish 1. The final verdict stands at Zoom in definitely wins. Well, thanks for that fairly comprehensive review. Radhika Sharma, you can catch her on Twitter. She is Radhika S. If you've got some issues with the review or if you would like to uh, point some fingers at that. But that was a genuine consumer review that she did. And I guess I know where I'll have to now print out my photos if I want to send these beach bums the pictures that I clicked of them. Anyway, we'll take a short break on the show. But don't go anywhere because coming up after that, we're going to show you something pretty nifty in the do-it-yourself department.